Yo, what's up guys? JT back here with Model Railroading in the Southwest. This is part two of building the Walther's Modern Travel Center. So this model is coming out really good. I'm super excited about it. All the windows are in and the acetate. All I need to do is put the roof on. I told you guys that I was apprehensive of building this model. It's not that hard at all. I've been using that play struck plastic weld and it is just making a quick work of building this model. It looks really good. So another thing that I wanted to mention was, as you can see here, there's brick around the front entrance here. That was all the way around the building. I decided that I wanted to go with a different look just because I really don't see much brick in New Mexico. What we have here is stuccoed walls. That's primarily what you see on all the buildings around here. There are some buildings that have uh, brick on the pilasters and also on the bottom of the, of the building around there but I just wanted to go with an entire stuccoed look and I think it looks really good. So what I used was is a Rust-Oleum paint. It's called Multicolor Textured Paint and it works really good. So if you can see on the lid there, that's what it looks like when you spray it out. So there's no surprises when you go and spray your model. So this is a really good looking model right now. I'm really satisfied the way it's looking right now. So I really wanted to go over what the fueling station name is going to be and also the convenience store. So I really wanted to go with a Valero fueling station just because you really don't see that many on different layouts. Um, there's a lot of Phillips 66 Texacos and stuff like that but I really wanted to go with the Valero. So the convenience store. So I decided to go with the convenience store that we have in New Mexico and I think parts of Texas and it's called an all subs. It's like a staple of New Mexico. If you mention all subs to somebody that lives in New Mexico, they know what you're talking about. So at all subs, they sell like fried foods and stuff and also general um, chips and sodas and whatever you want to find in there. So everybody raves about the chimichangas there at the all subs. I'm not a real big fan of them to be honest and a lot of people would probably be upset with me if they heard me say that. I don't know, they're just really not my, uh, my cup of tea. But I really, really wanted to harness like the feel of New Mexico by adding an all subs. And I think if anybody were to see an all subs there, they'd know exactly where it's from. So I'm going to be back here with the roof installed and the rest of it and a pretty much finished product for the convenience store. So we'll see what it looks like here in a few minutes and I'll be back. Well guys, the structure is pretty much done here. I think it looks really good. I really like the color combination of the roof, the stucco, the brick, and those uh, parking poles there. It looks really good. Now I was able to install all the details that came with the model alongside with this security camera, which, which looks pretty neat right there. I was able to weather all the concrete all around the building there. I didn't weather it too much just because I'm still waiting on a shipment of AAM uh, weathering powders or Monroe weathering powders, whatever they are these days. So once those come in, I'll finish it off. Now on the side over here, I installed the electrical box, which I weathered uh, really slightly there. And on the back, I uh, installed that natural gas meter. Now what's really weird about this model, there's not a back door. Like how are these people supposed to receive shipments and deliveries? I have a Coca-Cola truck and a driveway that I built specifically to put in the back to make it look like it's receiving deliveries and I can't use it. So it's not a real big deal, but it's just kind of odd. Now, if I realized that it didn't have a back door, I would have put one in myself, but whatever, it's not really that big of a deal. Now on the back here, I still have to install this uh, ice machine right here. I have to install the details and then I'll glue that in. Now on the roof, you can see over here, it's still blue. I need to install some gravel to, uh, simulate uh, gravel for runoff of uh, drainage for water. Now over here I was able to uh, paint up this AC unit. I added some rust and I painted the grills all silver and I added some weathering powders to it as well. I think it looks pretty good. So this building came out very good. I'm very satisfied with it. Now I'm going to work on the fueling platforms. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I'll go ahead and come back in part three and I'll show you guys what the finished fueling platforms look like and what it looks like on the layout and with all the vehicles and stuff on it. So that's pretty much it guys. Talk to y'all later and take care.